Imam Bukhari rahmatullahi alayhi relates a hadith from Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Zubayr radiyallahu an. The student says that uh, we heard Abdullah ibn Zubayr radiyallahu an on the member in Makkah al-Mukarramah announcing that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said <coughs> that if the son of Adam, man, had a valley full of gold, لو أن لابن آدم واديا ملأ من ذهب أحب إليه ثانية. If the son of Adam, man, had a valley full of gold, the words of full are not just my translation. It's in the hadith. واديا ملأ من ذهب, a valley full of gold. Now, in order to understand the hadith, think, think of the words, picture the words of the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم. Visualize them. Gold is worth a lot. Gold is the one solid, stable currency. And for the past few years, ever since the credit crunch, gold has risen exponentially in value. Since everyone is relying on the safe investments of gold, you can't go wrong with gold. Even properties, the property market crashed because of the credit crunch. So the safe haven for most people is gold. And that's why the price of gold has risen exponentially. And we measure gold by ounces and grams. Grams of gold. Now imagine, move from one weight and measure to the next. We measure grams of gold. We're not talking about grams. We're not talking about one ring. We're not talking about jewellery. We're not talking about one ring or a necklace. We're not talking about a purse full of gold. We're not talking about gold sovereigns. We're not even talking about one gold bar. We're not talking about a tray of gold bars. We're not talking about a crate of trays of gold bars. We're not talking about one crate of gold bars. We're not talking about one pallet of crates. We're not talking about one vault somewhere in a reserve or in the bank or in a mountain. We're not talking about part of the mountain. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, beyond even this, imagine a whole valley between two mountains filled with gold. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, if man had that, what would he do? Ahabba ilayhi thaniya, he would desire a second valley. Walau u'atiya, and if he was given a second value of gold, he would desire a third valley to add to his two valleys. Then the Prophet ﷺ says, وَلَا يَصُدُّ جَوْفَ بْنِ آدَمَ إِلَّا التُّرَابُ وَيَتُوبُ اللَّهُ عَلَى مَنْ تَابُ And nothing will fill the cavity and the vacuum in man except the dust of the earth. Man has this vacuum and this cavity that he wishes to fill with material possessions. And the possession of highest and greatest value is gold. But even one valley, even two valleys, even three valleys of gold won't be able to fill that cavity in man. The only thing that can fill that cavity in man is the soil of the earth when he is buried.